Hey, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, wiping out corruption in the city of New York, plaintiff in Conti v. DSNY, 101058, 2016, right there. So, this next uh, write-up is, ooh, so ugly. Right? This is this is the, the girlfriend doing the boyfriend a favor. This is written by, led by Concepcion, the, the woman who... Uh, did another false write-up prior. She did the, the one where she claimed the printer was a copier. The copier was a printer. The printer was a copier. Copier. You didn't. You said printer. It was a copier. It's a copier. It's not a printer. All right. So that one. All right. She's back with another one. So here's the here's the write-up. We're now we're now entering malice. We're entering malice. This is this is a disgusting write-up, right? So we see. Let's go right into it. Hold no punches. Pow. Here's the here's the write-up, right? And you look at, uh, here's the whole thing. And now let's go one step further. Let's look at the date. It's 5 13 uh, 15. So it's May 13, 2015. It's written by Andre Hampton. But I just said it was Concepcion, right? Well, why is Hampton's name on it? You'll see in a second, right? So the, 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 there's the, uh, the date. Now, here's the, what is the uh, crime committed? The, here's, the, <laughs> here's the violation. 3 1, uh, obeying direct order. 3 6, neglect of duty and use of department property. Use of department property. Okay, these are the things apparently I did wrong, right? And what exactly happened, right? So on 5 1, May 1st, 2015, SEA Conti did not follow procedure and did not check the date and time of the handheld 004. Because SEA Conti did not check the date and time of the handheld 004, SEA Conti issued seven summonses with the wrong, with the incorrect time. Okay, so every in the morning, every uh, agent it, and it's signed. Let's just look at the signature. Right, there's the signature signed by Mora Morisol Concepcion, and it's uh, a month later. She she puts this thing in a month later. She puts in the, the write-up, right? So, so to preface, every morning uh, when you show up to work, you put your uniform on, you go to roll call at 9 o'clock, and then you line up to get your stuff. You get your handheld, you get your printer, you get your radio, uh, you get any batteries, anything that you need to get through the day, right? And you check everything the best you can. You make sure everything's working. You, you check it all out. But mostly it's the sergeant inside the room that hands you the equipment. In this case, who, who remembers? There's probably Hampton or, or Concepcion. One of them, because they're the sergeant for the day, so they're, they're issuing the equipment. Now, right? So half of the equipment in the room doesn't work, right? Half, right? The printers are, are dead. They, don't, they, they die out in the middle of the day. The, the handhelds... You, you push the button and it doesn't, nothing happens. You're not allowed to use the backspace button because if you use the backspace button, it, it pollutes the software and it, the, the system crashes. Sometimes you, you push a button and, and, the, and the, you're writing a ticket in front, of a, in front of a client, in front of a client, in front of someone, uh, a respondent, and, and, and the, the handheld freezes. You can't do your job. And you know what the instruction is? Get in the car and drive around the block. So that you can go into a different wave, right? That your that your handheld is probably picking up radio frequency. It's shit equipment, right? Shit equipment. So on this day, I was issued this 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 uh, handheld, and probably handed to me by Concepcion because she's she's doing the write up, right? I I don't remember. Who the hell knows? All right. So that day, apparently, the date and the time inside the handheld was wrong, right? That's not. That's something that's programmable, right? That's a a computer glitch. That's a, you know, or something that you know it could even be malware. I don't know. I I feel like these people have been doing this job for so long. My impression of of this was that they set me up with a, with a with a with a handheld that's going to print the wrong date. That that was my suspicion then. I'm almost. It's almost confirmed that that's what they were doing, right? So they sent me out on the road. By myself, you know, writing tickets, and I do my job. I'm I'm out there, you know. Again, look at the date. It's May. 
I just I just got there, right? March, April, May. It's not even 60 days into the job in Manhattan, right? And uh, and they set me up with a shit, you know, a shit handheld that's printing the wrong dates. Right? So I go out and I do my job, right? And I come back, and I I don't know I don't know anything, right? I don't know what's going on, right? So I hand in my I hand in my paperwork, and that's the end of it, right? And then a month later. I'm I'm told you did you, it's your fault you didn't check the handheld your little print you know and the reality is that although you are supposed to check your equipment for basic functionality what what am I, I have to be now you got uh, Conti's got to be a a uh, you know programmable you know the, uh, handheld programmer you know so so um, so that was the setup set up to send them out and and. Uh, and I've never, I never saw the tickets. I don't know if they were valid or invalid. If they were printed with what time? Who, who, who knows? I don't. I don't know. But that's what the that's the the claim here. And again, there was never a hearing, right? Conti was never given a hearing in any of this, in any of this. So, um, so this is really we're, we're now entering. That's why I say malice. We're we're now entering. We're not now entering, but we're, we're, for you who's who's watching this and following along, you're starting to see the pattern of malice, the, the setting up, the 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 encirclement attacks, the coordinated effort to make you look like a jackass, like make you look like an incompetent fool. That's the job, right? They do a good job of it, except they got caught, you know. So, so. Uh, that's that's it on the fake write-ups. I think there's some more, but uh, for, you, you, I mean, it, you'd have to. You, it's not rocket science to figure out what's going on. So, peace out.